So let's wrap this conclusion up with a quick review. <laughs> What up guys, I'm Lloyd Purvis, your host, and this is Run For Adventure. Welcome back to our series where we review running apparel. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, come along and join us on our YouTube journey, it's really appreciated. Once you subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell notification because you'll be informed when we upload any new content. So today we are looking at apparel from a brand called Salomon. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that are very familiar with this brand, but if you're not, they're a brand out of France and they produce very technical running, hiking and skiing equipment. When it comes to their running kit, they tend to focus on trail and mountain running and it's what they've really become renowned for. But today we are looking at some kit from the Salomon S-Lab range. The S-Lab kit is definitely their highest performing, most technically advanced kit they offer and it's really pushing the boundaries when it comes to running apparel. The shoes, the clothing, the packs and the equipment within the S-Lab range are all developed at Salomon's design headquarters in Annecy, France. At the headquarters, they've got some of the best sportswear designers in the world, but they also work super close with their professional sponsored athletes who just happen to be some of and probably the best trail and mountain runners in the world. Anyway, let's dive in to the kit we've been testing. Over the years, I have run in lots of the Salomon S-Lab range from shoes to apparel to running vests. So I know the range really well, but today we are looking at the Salomon S-Lab Sense T. The T retails in the UK at 75 pounds. It comes in at a ridiculous 58 grams. I mean, it doesn't even feel like I'm holding a T-shirt. The main body of the T-shirt is made up of a very thin 100% polyester, and it's that thin, you can probably see my face through it. It really is a super thin T. The S-Lab Sense T uses Salomon's 37.5 technology integrated into the fabric, which offers a natural odor elimination, but it also helps maintain an ideal level of humidity, helping expel sweat before it turns into liquid form. Under the armpits of the Sense T, you have Salomon's Merino mesh zone, which is basically a combination of 60% Merino wool and 40% polyester to help with moisture management. And this Sense T really is designed for runners that are looking to push the boundaries of performance. So that is Salomon's S-Lab Sense T that we've been running in, but let's move on to the next item, and that is the S-Lab Exo Half Tight. This is some pair of undershorts. The S-Lab XO Half Tight retails in the UK at 120 pounds. It comes in in a crazy weight, just like the T. So these shorts weigh 50 grams, believe it or not. What I will say about the sizing, I'm a medium in the T and a medium in the overshort, but I had to go for a large in these and they fit like a glove. The XO technology worked into the shorts is there to offer a really high level of compression and to help with posture, but it's also there to help with muscle support and muscle recovery. It's a super stretchy, lightweight fabric, and then the short has zones of Salomon's 37.5 odor mesh fabric in the places where it's needed. The EXO technology in the shot is literally like a rubber sort of honeycomb weave that's laid on top of the fabric. I'm a massive fan of this when it comes to compression. Um, I used to love Salomon's calf guards that they made in the S-Lab range. Unfortunately, they've stopped making them. And this had this same rubber sort of weave on top of the fabric. I feel it's a, a really good level of compression, but quite a natural level of compression. It really works well with the muscle groups. The short also has this high elasticated waistband which comes with a silicone-free treatment, which offers a really secure and confident grip. Another great feature in the short when it comes down to comfort and breathability, especially when you're running long distance, is the crotch area in the short is segregated, so super breathable. The EXO Half Tight has two hip integrated pockets, one on each side, so for keys, credit card, gels, or it would even take a, a small little Salomon soft flask. And the undershort forms part of Salomon's modular short system. So what is the modular short system? 
The modular short system allows you to choose your level of support and compression, and then you add in an overshort that can be loose, tight, long, short. So you've got lots of options, and it's a system that works really, really well. So when it comes to the outer short, you can have a four inch outer short, like we're gonna show you in a minute, or you can go slightly longer with a six inch. They also do a skirt option for women. And then when it comes to the inner short, you can get a boxer type short, you can get the exo half tight, like we just showed you, or they do a slightly longer capri version as well. And then to finish that whole short system off, they do the S-Lab modular belt. So the belt literally attaches to this high elasticated waistband by uh, either three press studs on the front and three press studs on the back. And then what you're basically left with is a very personalized short system that has loads of storage. The next bit of kit we've been testing, like we said, is the S-Lab four inch overshort. It retails in the UK at 55 pounds, comes in at another ridiculous weight of 30 grams. I don't think you could make a running short any lighter than this. I don't think it's possible. It's designed to sit low on the hips and be run with the undershort, like we said before. It is constructed out of Salomon's super light, advanced skin, active dry fabrics for improved comfort by keeping you warm, dry, and protected. Another great feature in the shorts it incorporates Salomon's AeroTech technology, which is basically a lot of tiny little micro holes in the shorts for breathability. It also comes with a DWR treatment, so that helps to bead water. So that is the three items of kit that we've been testing, but let's run through the things that we've liked and maybe the things we've disliked about running in the S-Lab apparel. The first item we're gonna go through is the Salomon S-Lab Sense T. Um, I've really, really enjoyed running this top. I love the fact it is super light. I love my running kit light. The breathability of this fabric is amazing, having them woven wool zones under the arm, genius. It works really well when it comes to breathability and odor management. Having that 37.5 technologies from Salomon worked into the fabric, it's supposed to be a fabric that dries five times quicker than any normal fabric. It definitely does that. I ran it on a couple of long runs in warm weather and this top wicked amazingly well. By the end of the run, the fabric was bone dry, not holding on to sweat at all. So pretty impressive when it comes to performance. So the only negative I have when it comes to the Sense T is obviously the price. Retails at 75 pounds, which I know is a crazy amount of money for a running top, but I almost think it's justifiable in this T-shirt. When you think of the S-Lab range, it's designed to be at the pinnacle of running and the pinnacle of performance, and you have to pay for that. This tee has performed amazingly well. So on to the next item, which is the Exo Half Tight. Let's talk about the things we've liked. Well, I've liked pretty much everything. When it comes down to the fit, the feel, the performance, these shorts are top notch. I'm a big lover of this Exo honeycomb sort of rubber weave in the fabric. I've had it on lots of items of clothing and it feels like it is giving you an awesome level of compression. And it feels like it's really helping with your performance and posture all at the same time. I'm a lover of the modular system with the belt. You know, adding that belt gives you a short system with lots of storage. Talking of storage, you've got these two hip pockets. I personally hate hip pockets on running shorts. I've never found hip pockets that work at all. They're either uncomfortable or there's too much motion, too much bounce. These are brilliant. You could put a gel in there, you can put a small water bottle in there, keys. There's no movement, no discomfort at all. When it comes down to breathability, brilliant with this segregated crotch area, the shorts are super breathable. I would say one thing uh, to mention, the first couple of times I put them on, um, I didn't quite pull the shorts up enough and they kind of slipped down mid run. After I got used to that and got them shorts upright, I didn't have any issues after that. These silicon free grippers work really well. And again, the only negative comes down to price. It is 120 pounds for a pair of half tight shorts. It is a lot of money, but again, having worn them, running them and felt how they perform, I really think it's justifiable. These feel like they're 120 pounds worth of running short, that's for sure. I'm sure you're all sitting there at home thinking, yeah, Lloyd's saying that because he got given the kit. I actually paid for these. Um, I got given the overshort and the t-shirt, but I actually forked out for these because I wanted to try them. You know, I'd heard lots of good things and I am so glad I did. I know the next time I go to a long ultra or a mountain race or a hilly race, I am going to be wearing these shorts, that's for sure. The compression on your quads, I think you'd really, really save your quads going up and down them big uh, ascents and declines. So, I'm super happy that I paid 120 pounds for these shorts and I think they're worth every penny. And last but not least is the four inch overshore. Uh, I must say 
These shorts being super, super stripped back is amazing. They work so well with that undershort modular system. The Aerotech in the fabric, them tiny little perforations make them super breathable and they fit really, really precisely. What I would say is it is a very stripped back short. You wouldn't want to wear these on their own. You'd want an undershort of some description. There's no internal brief, there's no key pocket, no zip pocket on the back, nothing like that. Um, if you run them on their own, you would probably get arrested for indecent exposure, to be fair. The only negative again, and I keep harping on about it, but it is price. If you bought this overshort and that undershort, you are spending 175 pounds on your running shorts, which seems like a crazy figure. But again, the S-Lab range is designed to be at the pinnacle of running, and I really think this kit is, and these shorts have performed brilliantly. So let's wrap this review up with a quick conclusion. Yes, the S-Lab range is very expensive. You can't deny that. But if you're the type of runner that is looking to push the boundaries of your performance or distance, and you're looking for a kit that will take you on that performance journey, then the S-Lab range is definitely worth checking out. The level of technology, the level of development, and definitely the way the kit performs. If you're that type of runner, then I think the price is totally justifiable. I was told a story once by a Salomon rep and he was telling me how when it comes to Salomon and the S-Lab range, they actually put 10 to 15% of profits back into R&D and development, which you know is unheard of in most industries, let alone the running industry. What I would say is if you're really keen to try the S-Lab kit, but you're on a budget, you don't want to spend that type of money to see how it feels, I would get online, have a look at last year's colors or last year's model. You might be surprised what you find there and you might be able to bag yourself a real bargain. The Salomon S-Lab range is a pretty extensive range. So they do apparel, they do shoes, packs, lots of other kits. So we have left a link in the description. If you want to find out any more about that S-Lab range or about Salomon as a brand, please click that link below. Comments guys, we want to hear your feedback. Have you run in the S-Lab apparel? What do you think about it? Are you amazed at the performance? Or do you think it's a little bit expensive and a little bit overpriced? If you enjoyed the video or you found it useful or you're enjoying the series where we're reviewing running kit, please give us a massive thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. If you've been watching the channel and watched our last few videos, you know we've been teasing you about the great big running goodie giveaway when we hit 5,000 subs. Well, we have hit 5,000 subs. I can't quite believe it. It was a figure that we always wanted to hit. I really didn't know whether we would and we've hit it already. So let's show you what you can win. Salomon Brew Cup, a Hocker cap, a pair of Salomon running socks, a Hocker t-shirt, a Raid Light multi-wrap, a cuddly to- <laughs> Cuddly toy? This ain't a generation game. A Hocker towel, race number magnets, a Hocker multi-wrap, a race the world book, and last but not least, a run for adventure multi-wrap. So let's tell you how you can win all them amazing prizes. First thing you need to do is obviously subscribe to our YouTube channel. Then you need to go and follow us on Instagram. On Instagram, we are gonna post a picture of all the prizes. On that post, you need to tag in a couple of friends, but we've also got a question that needs to be answered. Yep, there's a lot of great prizes that we're giving away, so we're gonna make you work hard for this one, guys. Last year, we went on this epic European road trip and we made several videos about the trip while we were away. The answer to the question is hidden in them videos. So while we were away, we bumped into lots of people from lots of different countries. We met Spanish, Italian, Germans, Japanese, Chinese. But in which country did we bump into a bunch of Kiwis? Once you've found the answer, you've got to get the answer in the comments below. We will be drawing one lucky winner at random and the draw will take place at the end of June. I know we went through things quite quickly, so we've left all the information on how to enter the competition in the description below. Don't take too long about it guys. Follow us on Instagram, tag in your friends and find the answer to that question in the videos and then you'll have a chance of winning this plethora of running goodies. Thanks for watching guys. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you are enjoying this short series and as always at Run For Adventure, stay safe and keep on running. <laughs>